Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this is the review I think a lot of people have been waiting for, and that is Psyche. Like, how strong is he? How good is he? Well, spoiler alert, he is pretty damn ridiculous, guys, in like all facets of the game. Damage, some of the mechanics that he has, his survivability. I mean, this guy is absolutely ridiculous, as I will show you today. And I am just so happy that I pulled this character on my free-to-play account, and he looks just amazing right whether it's his you know this form here or his true form they did a wonderful job on this character i'm so happy with him so let's talk about him so he's a yellow attack type fighter that increases chaos type fighter attack by 70 percent right and then when you take a look at his stat details guys look at this guy's details he has a critical damage rate of 466 percent and then he has a critical rate at 61%, just absolutely ridiculous. But this guy is very different from the other UE characters from this update. Whenever you take a look at his core effects, increased attack by 700%, which is massive. The 30% critical rate, the blast skill damage by 250%, massive for this character. His critical damage by 300%, 30% PG rate. And then he gains what's called Merciless for eight seconds when defeating an enemy. Merciless increases your critical damage by 30% up to 300%. Now, a lot of people, when they see this, are like, oh, that's not gonna be very good for like your main boss is like guild raid but what netball has done is they also gave him this 20 percent chance to gain merciless upon landing an active skill on an elite enemy or a boss so even in a guild raid where you're not defeating an enemy you still have a 20 percent chance while doing your active skills to apply the merciless that will last for eight seconds so you still can get this critical damage extra by 300 percent whenever you're playing against you know guild raid which is actually really good i'm very happy that they did that and then he becomes arrogant nice when using active skill one two and three once each right so after you use all three of these skills he gains arrogance which increases his basic attack damage by 300 percent and this is his bread and butter guys his basic attack damage is nutty active skill one and two effect activate when landing a basic attack while arrogant then arrogance is removed okay immune to, immune to petrified fear stun burn and darkness gains has a damage immunity core and then he decreased damage received by 80% when arrogance is not active. And when it is active, he gets a decreased damage received by 85%, making him a pretty big tank, even though he is an attack type fighter. But these UE characters have such high stats that I don't know if being an attack type fighter really hurts them all that much as far as, you know, defenses. And then increased basic attack damage by 2,000%. What? What? And we'll get into the striker skill here in a little bit. So when we get into the UE skill, what this thing does is it resets your active skills, cooldowns, and then it enhances basic attacks to three hit attacks for five seconds upon use. Enters arrogant state upon use regardless of conditions met, which is awesome, guys. That's a lot of extra damage, giving him that arrogant state, and he'll have that decreased damage received also up to 85 percent this is very very sweet there's gonna be a little charge meter whenever he's doing this but whenever you take a look at the phantom ue skill this is where it gets pretty damn interesting because you know it's gonna have the same basic attacks up to three hit attack but you're also gonna get this increased basic attack damage by three thousand percent and higher depending on the level of the phantom ue core and whenever you have two bars, you'll get the arrogance that cannot be removed. And then you'll get, whenever you have three bars, you'll get the increased basic attack damage by 6,000 plus percent. Which is important for this guy's damage. Wow. So his active skill one is a blast skill. It deals darkness damage for 10 seconds, which is nice. And this is really like, this is something that's going to be very undervalued that is very very good as i will show you guys later on this decreased target movement speed by 80 percent for three seconds upon landing a skill guard included on a 10 second cooldown right so every other seven seconds whenever you use your awakened skill you're going to have this decreased movement speed by 80 percent this is so good especially against mobs right obviously in pvp as well but against mobs it's just insane like tower of illusion where he just slows them down to a crawl and he just gives him so much time to do a bunch of damage which this guy has an insane amount of and he can just murder them i'm going to show you guys something really ridiculous in tower of illusion later on with this dude his second skill 
Decrease target defense by 80%. Increased damage received by 100%. High armor for five seconds, which is awesome. And then the third skill, right, which is a grab, uh, applies stun and fear to the target for three and a half seconds upon landing a skill. This is only on a five second cooldown, guard included, right? Resets active skill cooldowns upon use, but it is on a 20 second cooldown, right? Which is still nice, right? So the third skill will reset the skill. So you always want to go two, one, and then hit the three, and then the three will actually reset your skills. The finisher enters the air against state upon use regardless of conditions met. So it's always really good to use that default before you use your regular skills. But remember, you're going to get the air against state whenever you use your phantom UE skill. You'll still get this arrogance as long as you have two bars applied. Whenever you're playing with this character, you really want to try to have three bars before you use your phantom UE skill. And this really goes without saying, really for all the characters and all honesty guys but some characters i find it's a lot easier to do than others psyche is definitely one of them and when we take a look at his imprint stones i have max stones on the sky and also remember guys like i said in the last video this is my free to play account right when you look at the guy's cp this would be over three million on my main account right and the damage that you're going to see will be about double on my main account twice as much right so we get into the core you want to level up his attack you want to level up his penetration uh obviously overpower is going to be overpower momentum and be really good for the 80s challenge but the skills that do the most damage at least i find is the first and the third skill so you want to max out the first and the third skill and then the second skill lasts and obviously you want to level up your ue break and your phantom ue break his striker bonus is good because it does increase phantom skill damage right it does deal darkness damage for 10 seconds and it does decrease the movement speed for 0.21 seconds so it doesn't really decrease the movement speed for very long uh really you want to use this guy as a damage dealer not really a striker but still it does add a little bit of something you know the increased skill damage by 10 percent, and this actually goes up to 21 percent is good i mean that is a good amount of damage to add but i mean if you're using this guy at a5 a6 a7 right and higher you're going to use him as a damage dealer he's just so strong that's really where he belongs and then when it comes to his plugins these are the plugins that i'm using on the character guys i'm not really going to go through all of these i'm just going to show you what I actually have on him, right? You definitely want to, you know, use blast skills for this character. Giving him attack is honestly very, very good because whenever he's doing his basic attacks, which is his bread and butter from his Phantom UE skill, the more attack that he has, the more fandom attack that he has, the more damage that damn thing will do. So that is something to keep in mind whenever you see these fandom attack stats and these regular attack stats. Those things really, really help his damage. And then, but blast skills, leveling with the first and the third skill, and even the second skill, still going to be good whenever he's using his awakened skill. When it comes to his cards, we're using the set. We're going to be using the Kula option card. I'm sorry, the Zhang Fei option card. And the Sherman option card, again, for the reasons I explained before, where we're going to be against the Nightmare Geese. And we want to have all these dots applied all at the same time. Now, his 3PG does give him critical damage by 25%, which is massive for this character on top of all the critical damage that he has, right? I mean, the guy just does ridiculous ridiculous damage so let me pull up the run for you guys right now and i'll just kind of walk you through exactly what i'm doing so you know we start off guys we just want to do our 3pg as fast as possible right and after the 3pg we're going to run through our skills and we're going to build up the default and then i'm just going to go ahead and use my default then we're going to run through our skills hit the awaken skill now what i do is i hit the awaken skill and i use the ue skill afterwards right the reason is because we don't have any bars built and the basic attack damage will build up that bar a whole lot faster so whenever you start off the fight you want to try to build up the phantom stat bar by using your ue skill just like i just did right and you can see we got over two bars of damn two bars built up already right so we'll do our default we're going to run through our skills and we're going to try to break the bar now we try to break the bar and we want as much time as possible for our phantom ue skill so we hit the phantom ue skill we absorb all three of those bars getting all three of those buffs we just let it fly guys and then we run through our skills and what i try to do is i try to have about four seconds left on that default that seems to work out really really good and then we use our 3pg we wait for a geese to come out of his state and then we use our default 
We're going to reset our skills, run through our skills again, right? And boom, right? So my Phantom Unity skill wasn't built up, or my Unity skill wasn't ready. So I'm just using my Awaken skill to build up the Phantom Unity skill. If you're below one bar on that Phantom state, use your UE skill. If not, don't use your UE skill. You want to build up those three bars because seriously, it makes all the difference in the world, especially with this character. And really, you can make the argument for all the characters that we have played so far, right? All these UE characters. So again, we're building up those three bars of the Phantom State down at the bottom, and we're going to absorb it. Boom! We start holding our basic attack, and you, and you can just hold your basic attack to do a bunch of damage. I mean, look at the damage this guy's doing on my free-to-play account. My friends, this is ridiculous. Remember, you, I can do almost double the damage on my main account. This guy would do four trillion as of right now with 40 seconds left over on my main account. Think about that. Think about how insane and ridiculous that is, right? Plus all the hits that he does, he just breaks the meter really, really fast, right? So again, we almost had that three bars built up. We didn't quite di have it built up, so we didn't use our Phantom UE skill. So we use our, well, I kind of jumped the gun on the second skill, but we're gonna run through our skills. We hit the default, run through our skills again, try to get that meter broke down as much as we can. Then we use our Awakened skill once the meter's broke. Then we use our Phantom UE skill when we have three bars fully built up. And look at this guy, just plow it on, guys. Look at the power of Psyche. Like, it's so godly right i know i say godly all the time but it's just so ridiculous how strong this character is oh my lord look at the power of this character right a7 will be doing over three trillion no problem doing a solo over three trillion damage right when he said a7 right and maybe i could get three trillion even now right i mean just i mean this is nuts guys this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, let me show you what he does in Tower of Illusion. Because let me tell you what. He... This was... I did this one time. I tried this one time. And I was able to get through it, guys. I was able to destroy this thing in one time. Plus, you know, as, as dumb as those throwing rocks is, they do a lot of damage and they have a lot of range. So he can actually keep his distance, keep away from the opponents. But really, I'm just running through my skills and just spamming them. And because he has that decreased movement speed, right? Granted, it's on a 10 second cooldown. So every other seven seconds, because it lasts for three seconds, you'll be able to use it whenever you use your awakened skill. It is a godly thing to have in this game mode or wherever there are mobs applied. And man, this guy is just, I mean, guys, we have a disadvantage right now. And I know it's just stage one, but Tower Evolution is very, very hard. And it's meant for the UE characters, right? I mean, EX characters can do it, but you're going to find that the UEs are definitely going to be the best for this thing. I mean, the guy's just making, like, it's just funny how he just kind of walks around. He's just like, la da 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 just all casual when he's destroying the hell out of this thing, right? Watch what he does to Mukai. I mean, this is just dumb, right? We're going to hit our default. Boom. Right? We have a disadvantage, my friends. Watch this. It's going to be bye-bye. We have a disadvantage. Bye-bye. See you later. Just murdered the dude, right? Just absolutely destroyed him. Like, that is the power of Psyche, guys. That is the power of this character, right? I mean, he's just nuts. I mean, ridiculous. I really can't stress enough how happy I am with this character psyche is just godly as he should be so guys let me know what you think about psyche and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m to do plus seven time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care